Hey y'all, so today we're gonna be transforming this fireplace mantle and hearth, which is in my kitchen, um, from this old um, decor that's left over from Valentine's Day. It's been looking like this since Valentine's Day. Um, and some of it's actually left over from Christmas, but we won't tell anybody. Anyway, um, it's time for a change. So we're gonna be changing it out for summer and it's going to actually be able to carry over into early fall um i don't do a whole lot of changing um you know for the seasons until fall and christmas or whatever so i kind of wanted it to kind of transition into fall so you'll get a chance to see what we're gonna do um and it's gonna be fun so check it out this is what it's going to look like once we're finished. So let me show you what we're going to use. Um, the first thing is going to be this um, sort of gate looking wall decor that I got from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. Um, I have one in my bathroom. I had two, so I'm going to use the other one. Um, these flowers that I got um, a while ago, I'm going to just cut them off of the stem and kind of, you know, intersperse them about. This cute little vintage blue truck um, that I got from Fred's and some lemon decor. Um, I want to kind of incorporate the lemon color for like summer and then the blue um, and the reds for like the, you know, um, summer decor for 4th of July and things like that. We're also gonna be using these candle holders that I got, oh gosh, about five or six years ago from Hobby Lobby um, for about $4 when they had their little summer sale. And they look really nautical, but I like the fact that the metal matches the metal on the gate or the wall hanging. And um, we're gonna be transferring that, transforming that, should I say. And then I'm gonna be using these um, flower vases and the flowers again. Um, I just shopped my home for these. I had two, so I'm gonna use um, both of them and we're just gonna redo, like I said, the flowers inside. And then we're gonna also reuse the candles that were on the mantle and Maybe some of the flowers that are in this um, lantern that I got from Michael's. And the greenery is going to stay. We're also going to use this wreath that we made um, about a month or so ago. Um, I'm going to add a few more flowers to it and then we're going to use that as well. And if you want to see how I made this, um, I'll leave a link for that. Okay, this is it all cleaned off. I still have the lanterns there. I'm going to use those as well. They stay all year round. And again, like I said, I'm going to keep the greenery and the space is all cleaned and ready to be styled. And as you can see, it's really, really large. <laughs> Okay, so we've added our, I guess, gate, if you will. I um, mean, I love how it looks. I've also um, restyled the flowers in the vases. Um, and I got these vases, I think, from Hobby Lobby. And, I'm, and I've had them for a long time. Just like those candle holders as well. I like the candle holders, but they're more nautical looking. So I'm going to show you how I kind of incorporated it to match the gate. So here we are with everything added. Um, I put the wreath um, on the gate with a command hook. And I added some red flowers. Like I said before, I kind of want to add a subtle hint of the red, white, and blue for... Um, 4th of July with the truck and the color of the gate and the vases and, you know, the blue and then a subtle white and the red with the flowers. So hopefully you can see the vibe I'm going for. Um, here's the little blue truck and I just put the lemons on the back of the truck as if it was hauling a load of lemons. <laughs> and then I just, um you know, sort of stood the lanterns up and sprinkled some flowers around as though they were just falling or something. And then I sort of did the same thing up top. 
um, just sort of took some individual flowers and just kind of laid them around. Um, and then I added some of the flowers to the vase with the red and the sort of off-white roses. You know, again, trying to incorporate the red, white, and blue, but not the traditional red, white, and blue. And with the candle holders, since they looked more nautical, I added some burlap ribbon to sort of camouflage the look. You can still see the metal from the candle holders and it matches the metal on the gate. And the burlap actually brings in the burlap that's um, throughout my kitchen. It sort of ties everything in with other spaces in my uh, kitchen as you can see in the corner over there I have like a burlap um, wallboard where I you know above my desk rather and it sort of brings you know ties it in with that anywho this is what it looks like the finished um, project and just giving you an overview of the table I'm going to show you how I made this lemon placemat table runner in the next video um, just giving you a quick little glimpse of what's to come and how all the colors are kind of coming together um, the red comes in too as an accent because I have an accent of red in the kitchen but here's a picture again of the mantle and the hearth and hope you enjoyed this and see you in my next video bye